So my name's Rachel Black, um, I'm a student at the University of Strathclyde studying chemical engineering um, and I'm working here at Edrington over the summer as a training support intern. The main thing that encouraged me to apply to the Saltart internship programme was knowing that Saltart are interested in who you are as a person rather than worrying about um, the kind of grades that you get and you know your intellectual capabilities. Um, they're more interested in uh, the skills that you can provide and they ask you to draw on your experiences and prove that you have the right uh, mindset um, and attitude going into the, the role as an intern. Another part um, of the internship programme that I really like is the fact that they promote Scotland and they're looking at um, finding, fueling and sparking the next generation of leaders in Scotland. Being Scottish myself um, and being really proud to be Scottish, that's another big part um, of the internship programme that you don't get in a lot of other places. So my host company is Edrington um, and they own uh, some of the world's finest premium spirits. Um, so they have a lot of Scotch whiskies that they produce, including the Macallan, the famous grouse in Highland Park, among many others. Uh, being in the training and development department, um, I'm involved in a lot of different continuous improvement initiatives. Um, the main project that I'm involved in is in the bottling hall here. Um, so I'm pr uh, producing competency-based documentation. Um, it's assessments for different operators in the hall to make sure that they're fully competent in their roles. Um, so since we're on a site here that's dealing with large volumes of highly flammable alcohol, it's really important from a health and safety point of view that operators are uh, confident in their tasks and know, know what they're doing. Um, there are a lot of health and safety regulations that they need to abide by. During my time at Edrington, as well as the core workload that I've gained and all the different experiences actually at work, I've been involved in many things outside of work hours. Um, one of the big things would be networking um, events and opportunities that I've got involved in. Um, a lot of those are through Edrington itself, so I've been to a few whiskey tastings and um, some networking events over at the headquarters office in the Glasgow city centre. And um, It's been a really good chance to appreciate the products that Edrington actually produce and meet a lot of people behind the scenes that I wouldn't meet um, in my day-to-day -day role here. On top of that as well, I've gone to a couple of Saltire um, and Entrepreneurial Scotland events too, which has been another really good way to meet new people. So one of the most important parts of my role is being able to communicate with people. Um, so my communication skills have definitely been developed a lot through this. Um, I need to make sure I capture information accurately from various different people throughout the bottling hall. So that includes the general workers, the process operators, the engineers, various different people at various levels of the business. Before I applied for this internship, I, I didn't really know what industry I wanted to go into. Uh, one of the main reasons I applied to do chemical engineering at university was because it's a really diverse role. One industry that did really appeal to me was the food and drinks industry, but having never worked in the industry before, I didn't know if it was really for me. The role that I've been in here um, at Edrington isn't necessarily a chemical engineering role as such, but a lot of the um, concepts that I've been learning and dealing with are quite relatable to my course um, and it's definitely given me a really good opportunity to see different aspects of the business and um, learn all about the industry and I've definitely decided that this is an industry that I'd love to work in in the future and I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't done this internship. Anyone applying to the internship programme I'd say do it. At the end of the day what have you got to lose by applying? Um, one of the things that I found quite um, daunting or what, what maybe put me off applying to start with was just the nerves and thinking, oh, maybe I'm not good enough, like, why, should I, why would they pick me? Um, but at the end of the day, here I am and I didn't believe in myself necessarily at the start of the process and it's given me, even just from the application process alone, before I even set foot in this company, um, it's given me such confidence, um, a huge, huge boost and I would definitely recommend it to anybody.